Hey peeps, my name is TK Tara and for this video I will be teaching you guys how to knot thread. This will be a three part hand sewing series which will lead up to future videos that I have planned. So let's get started. So here's what you'll need. You'll need a needle, a sewing needle, you'll need scissors. These are just regular scissors but I highly recommend scissors that are used for sewing. And you will need thread. For some reason the word couldn't come out of my mouth there for a second. So ignore the fabric in the back, but what you'll need to use first is the needle. If I could just get it to focus. Oh, I got it to focus, yay. Okay, so you'll need the needle and you'll also need the thread. So the first thing that you'll need to do with the thread is you'll need to pull the amount that you need for whatever you're sewing so that you can get ready to put the thread through the needle. So before you put the thread through the needle, or at least attempt to, I recommend that you check to see if the tip of the thread has any fur or anything coming off of it, because then that would make it harder for it to go through the needle um, properly. So just take some scissors and chop it off. So now that we've chopped off the furry tip of the thread, it'll make it easier for us to stick it through the needle hole. So. As you can see, it'll still take a few attempts, but eventually you'll get it. Now I'm combining both pieces of thread together so that I can find out where I want to cut it and cut it off. And now I'm cutting off the piece that is attached to the rest of the thread. And after I do that, I'll pull them together so that they'll be even so that I can get ready to tie the knot. It is a lot easier to tie the knot when you put the pieces of thread together and then you kind of like twist them together, you know, it makes it a lot easier to get the knot together. So now what I'm just doing is I'm holding the thread and I'm about to wrap it around my finger and then when I do so, I make sure that there's a little bit of thread and then I twist it into each other and then use my nail to pull it all the way to the end of the thread. This will allow a knot to form. Now for my personal preference, I'm going to knot the thread a few more times just to make sure that the thread's knot is big enough for whatever fabric I'm going to use it on. And there's my knot. Looking very, very beautiful there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!